Isn't this a beautiful place? Look at all these beautiful roadworks and this beautiful puddle. It's much, it's much nicer than my place. And I'm jealous, but I'm waiting for um, Karina so we can go get some breakfast. I don't think she's up yet. I might go knock on the door. Get up. Okay, so while I waited for, um, or while I'm waiting, for um, Karina to get her act together and get out of here so we can get the boat at least get some breakfast and leave. I did some research on um, San Pedro Sula and La Ceiba um, and the safety. Um, in the numbers are from 2017 and they're all on uh, Wikipedia. Um, and it's, it's calculated in terms of um, how many per 100,000 people are murdered. So in San Pedro Sula in 2017, um, 286 people were killed out of 100,000 people. So for every 100,000, for every 100,000 people, 286 people are killed. Um, the next city down from that is 111. That's two and a half times less. Um, so San Pedro Sula is still very, very dangerous. But in terms of tourism, I've read that it's it's not as bad. So there's p petty thefts and, um, and activities like that happening in San Pedro Sula, but also um, for tourists this does turn into murders um, and it's increasing by the sounds of things. So biggest tips that I've discovered for traveling in La Ceiba and uh, San Pedro Sula if you are a tourist is don't go out at night time, um, don't flash your stuff around like your cameras and so on in the street. I'm actually in Guatemala so I'm a, a lot safer um, and I'm not in the street either so it's, it's, it's all good at the moment. Um, and if you um, do get robbed, uh, don't resist, actually just hand over your stuff um, is, is something else because um, I, I read of a 33 year old guy who uh, was taking photographs in the street and he resisted a robbery and they killed him. For his camera so um, so yeah I yesterday traveled through San Pedro Sula in a bulletproof car but then check me out put all on all my show luggage. me your foot yay we'll do it deeper hello <laughs> do you think it looks a bit rough today huh? it does doesn't it And that was a bumpy boat ride, holy shit. Just as soon as we got into the bay, it was crazy. Mental. So I've just changed money in a, uh, in a restaurant. Uh, Grace's restaurant, they do Caribbean food or something, so I've changed money there. Before coming out here, we changed money in a, just on the street in Guatemala. You just stop and there's a guy with a bag of money and he's like, do you want to change it? Yeah, okay. So um, I've carried Lempira through from Honduras, got them changed at Guatemala, lost some money of course with the exchange and so that they can make some money for the service and then lost some money here again as well as you know, 
not too much I don't think so I'm not overly pissed off but you know this is the way it is and this is Belize so welcome to Punta Gorda uh, isn't that lovely apparently we have a bus and a boat and another boat to get to Kaikoka so hopefully we'll make it today we'll see how it goes bus trip so um, I don't know what time it is I think it's like eight eight or something we got on the bus at one maybe it was an hour eight hour trip or something like that so it's been ages and we went all the way into Placentia I'm pretty sure we came all the way back it just felt like we've seen the entirety of Belize we didn't even have a place to stay so we've just pitched up at another girl who was on the bus says hostel and we're staying here tonight we've got a place to stay so we're all good and I am completely spaced and tired and I'm gonna go and crash out so we did it sea breeze in